All right, what's up, boys? Uh, just gonna be doing a little yap sesh. Um, no idea how long my yap sesh gonna be. Just gonna be yapping. Um, you know, I've been seeing some people yap. It's like I I'm just gonna start yapping. Um, if you if you want to try to yap for yap, um, I'm down. If you want to yap for yap, but basically, like, I'm just gonna be yapping. So, I guess like, um, I'm I'm pretty hungry right now. Um. I went to Taco Bell last night and spent about $30 and I ate about four burritos and I still have another four. I added beef, lettuce, and onions to my bean burrito and it was like $4 burrito. I got like eight of them. So it was like 32 bucks, but it was like 34 cause like taxes and shit. But, um, I'm making this joke. Um, I was like, all right, I'm gonna make the best joke in the world. So I was like, all right, where how am i gonna create this so i was like all right where's my joke gonna be like where where's it gonna take place but it pretty much it's um it's about this guy instead of bar and you're probably like, okay why a bar it was like it was just the old classic you know i just chose the bar um you know I, that's where jokes are made like what else are you gonna do in a bar drink well yes but like it it's like you drink and tell jokes so that's why most jokes have a bar um so i chose a bar but that's not like the location the location i was like all right where's it gonna be i was like oh ohio no nah, but like then like i'm telling the joke and the recipient is hearing the joke and is like oh my god it's one of those ohio shit it's not it's not i was like what is a shit can that i can format my joke to be a part of in like where is it obviously it's in a bar but like what bar, like where i was like Detroit done easy Detroit um and if you never hear about Detroit it's probably something bad taxes something like car crash Detroit it's just you don't want to be there you know so it's like oh and someone here is oh so this is a bar in Detroit they're like oh shit what the fuck's about to go down so I chose a a bar in Detroit and so basically there's a couple characters it's kind of like an immersive joke like there's a bunch of characters um kind of like one piece you know so if you don't like one piece you might not like the joke but like it's all worth it for the punchline the punchline's fucking phenomenal so pretty much there's uh, a guy a family and a kid well the kid's in the family so i guess just a family and a guy but basically the guy's name's kyle now the other people don't have names because like you no one's gonna remember every fucking person's name instead of a joke it's like quick it's snappy boom um, so pretty much a guy is in the bar. He's already drinking. Well, he's not drinking in the joke, but like he was, you know, but like he's sober. Like it wasn't even that, but like in front of him, it's a little glass, right? That he ordered. It's a fireball double. So it's just, he's not, it has nothing to do with the joke. It's just there, like immersing yourself, you know, like getting, so you get to know what the fuck's going to happen in around in the scenario of the joke. So guy his name's Kyle, is just sitting down, and the family walks in. Well, not the family. Well, the kid, there's a kid, right? I said there's a kid in the family. The kid's outside. I'll get to that later. Um, it does impact the joke later on. But the kid's outside. I'm not going to say what he's doing, because that's obviously for the joke to tell. But he's just outside kidding around. He, well, kid. He's not kidding around, but he's a kid being a kid outside. Like, of the bar. Like, cause I, He can't go in the bar. He's a fucking kid. But that's not why he's outside. He's outside for a different reason, which the joke will get to. Um, it'll like say it, but like it's not because he's not old enough. Like there's there's another kid in the family, which I haven't said the characters in the family, but like they're also they're, so it, a kid goes in the bar as well. But the reason the kid's not in the bar is be not because he's not old enough to go in a bar. It's for a completely different reason. The joke says so. I. Uh, uh, so basically, the family goes up to the guy. Well, let me tell you the characters in the family because only one of the people in the family went up. So there's a dad, a mom, um, a little a little daughter, and a dog. So now the dog's not there. The the dog's at home just doing dog shit. Uh, he's not at the bar. I'm just saying like who's in the family so you can get yourself like immersed. Like what's this family about? What are they doing? So. The dog's just at home, probably sleeping, eating his dog food, dogging around. Uh, he's he's not involved with the joke at all. It's just, you know, you get a little bit more lore. So, 
Um, the do- so not the dog. The family is, you know, do they walk in the bar, you know. The, the mom and the daughter at this point go and find a seat in the bar. And now the dad sees the man just chilling there. Kyle, just Kyle, being a Kyle. Now, he's eating a burrito in this joke. Now, the burrito has a wrap around it that is very similar to Taco Bell. So he rushes up there. You know, he's a dad. He's like, oh, my God, I like Taco Bell. Let me go up to him. He's like, yo, what are you eating? And just like I said at the beginning of um, this, he's eating a bean burrito with beef, lettuce, onions. It's expensive as fuck. So um, he goes like, yo, how much was that burrito? Where can I get it? What Taco Bell? What street was it at? Um, now the, I'm guessing Detroit has Taco Bell. If it doesn't, wow, it's a shit place. But I'm for this joke, Taco Bell exists in Detroit because he has a Taco Bell burrito. It didn't just spawn like that doesn't work in real life. So that it wouldn't work in the joke. So he has the burrito and he's just eating it. And he goes, Oh, it was about, you know, $4. And he was like, Whoa, what the heck? Back in my day, it was like 60 cents, which it was. I don't know why it gets so fucking expensive. I remember that a bel grande used to be three and a half bucks and that was expensive i was like damn three and a half dollars for a bel grande now it's like seven and a half like ultra inflation makes no fucking sense um but pretty much yeah the, so the dad he's like you know he's all he's on the political side he hates inflation he's he's republican you know he's about that but um the guy he, the, the guy actually he's unemployed he he's he's rich as shit right he's just being he's eating there eating his talk about he's rich four dollars whatever easy burrito um so he didn't really care about inflation now th- now he, he does bring that up but it has nothing to do with the joke the joke hasn't started yet this is more like small talk inside the bar so um sh- so the guy right he's like oh it's four dollar burrito and um the dad being you know all into that world it's like yo why is it what's with this inflation what's going on why is it like that i remember back in my day you know 60 cents now it's like well, it, cause a nor it's like a shit burrito if you don't add any toppings. It's like just beans and onions, which is great, but like that's it. So like, bro added lettuce, beef, you know, made it fucking stacked, right? Stacked. I actually have a. It's across my room, but like I have a burrito. Like I could show you, but I, I have to stand up. I don't have pants on. So pretty much, um, they're just talking. They're talking, and he's like, oh wow, that that that, that sucks. I don't know why it's like that. Or he's. Kyle has a deeper voice. Um, I'll, do, I'll do my voice for like the dad and all the other characters too. But Kyle, like I want you to, cause he, spoiler, he will deliver the punchline. So he's probably the most important character, which is why he has the name. He's the only character with a name. The dad doesn't have a name. His name's dad, mom, daughter. Um, and the kid outside, remember that, kids outside. So um, he's in his Taco Bell. That, that's how they get to know each other. He walked up his Taco Bell. He's not drinking yet. Um, it, it, as I said, the fireball is just on the table double it's a double fireball so you know i don't know why he's drinking but um so they're talking and then the dad's like ha 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 and then the guy's like oh so funny he said oh you must have a lot of money on you to spending it on some taco bell and then he's like yeah i do i do and then out of nowhere ballpark nowhere no one could expect this the guy immediately stands up and says, I got a joke for you. A joke that just you would like. You know, you're coming at me talking about my expensive burrito. I got a joke for you. And now from from this, you can sort of interpret that Kyle ain't liking this dad. So whatever joke he has, it's probably not nice. Um, so that's like now now there's drama, right? We're about to get to the climax. It's the rising action. Um, so we're about to get into the the, the fun stuff now. So the dad's like, oh, well, I want to hear your joke. Oh, wait, he doesn't have deep voice. Oh, the dad's like, oh, I want to hear your joke. And then Kyle's like, I got you. And so pretty much before the joke starts, he asks, how is your day? And the dad, you know, explains everything, how he left his dog at home. It's not like he left it at home. It's like, it's a dog, right? You always leave it at home, right? It's not like he mistookenly didn't take it with him. The dog was fucking... It's a dog, dude. So he um, talks about that. He talks about he came to the bar with his family. He's like, oh, that's my wife. 
that's that's my daughter they're sitting over there um and he's like oh oh and then he says oh but my kid's outside um and so he's like oh why is your kid outside and he said um because he saw a caterpillar on the ground and um so that's what that's what the kid was doing he saw a caterpillar on the ground it's not that he was old enough to walk in the bar he saw a caterpillar on the ground um and then it gets to the point where um the the guy is like oh, kyle i'll say kyle not my bad so kyle is like all right uh knock knock and so the dad is then like oh it's one of these okay kind of being like I know you, like, I'm better than you, like, for no reason, just because he's eating an expensive burrito, you don't have to be a fucking dick to him, but it's the whole immersive, like, world, like, Detroit in a bar, you know, you get to, like, know what the dad's thinking, um, basically, just is like, yo, um, it's one of these, uh, and he says, uh, who's there, now, at this point, he starts, like, Kyle starts, like, you know, getting his shoulders ready, and, um, says, D.N., and then the dad comes out of left field and starts being like, oh, okay, D's nuts, ha, 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 ha. And then at that point, Kyle's like, yo, I didn't, I didn't say a joke. You're not even supposed to say that. You're supposed to say D and who? Why, why are you talking? What, what are you doing? Um, and then he starts yelling, starts yelling, yapping. That wasn't the joke that he was yapping. That was, I was just saying that. That wasn't the punchline at all. That was just – that wasn't funny anyway. So – um, he starts yelling and then the mom and daughter are like, yo, what's going on over there? So, um, the mom goes with the daughter and then, and then as they're walking, he, Kyle keeps getting more aggressive being like, yo, what are you doing? Why are you telling my joke? Like he, you had no right. Um, and then he, she's like, all right, you, you, you go sit back at the table. And then the mom goes up. So the daughter at this point is walking back to the table and the mom goes up and said, Hey, why are you talking to my husband like that? Um, and the guy's like, hey, you, 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 I'm telling a joke and your dad's not doing it right. He, he's just saying a punchline that doesn't exist. So when he says that, you, the um, interpreter, are like, oh my God, you are the dad, right? Like you're listening to the joke and you're like, oh, this whole joke's just a fucking D's nuts joke. Wow, man. All of this for a D's nuts joke? And then um, that's what the dad was thinking too. So you, the joke reader, listener, the interpreter are like, you are the dad. You are the dad. So it immerses yourself into it that you are dad. Well, you're not dad. Like you are the character dad in a bar in Detroit. So you're like you're immersed. You're like, oh my God. Now you probably don't like this Kyle guy because you're like, what is he doing? I personally like him because of, I know the ending. So, um... So basically he thinks, oh, he says, knock, knock. Dad says, who's there? And then Kyle's like, DN. You're supposed to DN who? The dad thinks he's going to say these nuts um, and kind of interrupts him. Basically, um, guy uh, the, Kyle um, is like, you don't, you don't even know my punchline. That wasn't even correct. That wasn't what I was going to say. And then the dad's like, oh, really? Really? Okay. All right. You can finish your joke. I won't interrupt. Oh, and he talks to his wife, like, oh, you can go back, you can go back. And the wife's like, oh, I know, I want to hear this, I want to hear this. If it's not these nuts, I want to hear what it is. And at this point, Kyle's like, all right, so let's start over. <clears throat> knock, knock. And the dad's like, all right, who's there? And then the guy's like, no, 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 you have to say who's there, not all right, who's there. So they restart. Now, you know, the mom's, you know, kind of giggling, like, well, what's happening here? And then she's kind of looking at the burrito like, wow, that's a big burrito. What's going on? Uh, you know, she's catching up, right? She's like, she's in second, right? She she just got there. She doesn't really know what's going on. So <clears throat> Kyle's like, knock, knock. The dad finally says, who's there? Um, well, he did the first time, but now he's like, kind of like, I need to get this over with. So I can go with my family um, and, you know, do bar shit. So he says, who's there? And the guy goes D in and then, um, the dad expecting and not to be a D's nuts joke says D and who, and that's when Kyle says D's nuts. And now boom punchline. He said it anyway, holy shit. And then boom, 
Maybe everyone in the fucking bar looks at him, goes, whoa, holy shit. Boom, punchline. You, you didn't think he was going to do it, but he did. Crazy. Um, and yeah, so that was the joke I was trying to come up with. Um, but yeah, uh, it's kind of a little long yap sesh here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go eat some burritos here. Uh, I have four. Um, they're the day old, but like they, they hit a day like later. If you wait two days, they're not that good. But yeah, so W sesh, W W app sesh, um, pretty fun. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that was that was a fun little app sesh. That was, that was fun. That was fun.